we'll begin this short restorative sequence today by coming onto your hands and knees to a tabletop position. Hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees, hips width, and move into a few slow cat cows. Exhaling as you push the floor away with your hands, spine rounds. And inhaling, gazing up. Pressing the tops of the feet into your mat. Letting the head and neck be a nice long extension of your spine. And if at any point the sequence seems a bit too much on the neck, simply back out of the pose. When you're ready, walk your hands forward and shift the hips way back into a child's pose, releasing the entire back body from the fingertips all the way down to the hips. And take a few long breaths here. Lifting the head, making your way slowly onto the belly now. Take your hands to the floor alongside the ribs. Engage the shoulder blades as you lift the torso slightly off the ground, reaching your hands behind you. Feel the muscles in the lower back engage and then release down to a crocodile pose. Head and neck relax. When you're ready, once again, lift the head Take the hands behind you with the torso way out, maybe a little bit higher this time, and relax down. Pressing back again, stretching it all out in a long child's pose. Again, lifting the head, coming back to the belly, Hands come behind, lifting up, heart center reaching forward, gazing straight ahead and then melting down, pressing back child's pose. Lifting the head, coming back to the belly, hands reach, gazing upward. Pressing back, child's pose. Once again, coming all the way down. Take the arms around. This time, maybe interlace the hands, squeezing the shoulder blades together behind you. If it's too much, just back out. Then swinging back into your child's pose, melting the forehead down, back body releases. Setting up your bolster into a T-shape with the lower bolster across your mat and the vertical bolster on top, sit at the base of the bolster and slowly lie back so that you have room to comfortably let your head hang back so that there's no tension in the neck and the heart center shines forward. If it feels comfortable, you can let the hands and arms reach back behind you. Tops of the legs are relaxed. Belly rising and falling with every breath. With every exhale, melt just a little bit more. Maybe the hands come a little bit lower. Sending the fourth chakra energy, love, and light.
And for your final restorative pose, slide down the bolster a few inches so that your head has a little more support in taking the feet together and the knees comfortably apart in Supta Baddha Konasana. Or if it feels better to keep the feet on the floor or stretched out, do so. Breathe into your heart center. Inhale to the front of your heart space. Exhale to the back of your heart space. As you come to a place of deeper relaxation, imagine a ball of green light rising from the center of your chest. Feel delight, happiness, and peace throughout your whole body. May you feel deeply accepted by the universe of which you are a loving, radiant part. Namaste.